Uh, let me get James up here. James, what's going on, James? Yo, what's up, AD? What's going on, my friend? What do you disagree with? Um, well, I feel that if anyone does a crime, they should be. Do you want to be on camera, or you want to just be uh, brought up? Audio. You can cam me up. You want to be on camera? You sure? Cam me up is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, why not? Okay, go ahead. We're going we gonna to get to it. All right, so what are your thoughts again? Say that again. If anyone ever commits a crime, they should be judged, I feel. No matter what time it is, as far as if the, if the time goes out where you can't be judged, don't be judged. But if, the, you know, if you did the crime, just like when someone gets like, shot or beat up by police, I'm like, hold up. He had a gun and he was running? Mm -hmm. And he just committed a crime. All right. Well, that's what happened. You know, that's what happened. Same thing with Trump. I want to vote for my boy. I don't, you know, or any Republican that can bring us back to conservative, they, you know, a conservative country. I'm, I'm for it. I live in New York. I, ha I hate what's going on politically. But if you do the, you know, the, the, the crime. All right. Trump, you got convicted. You still running. I was happy to hear he's still running. All right. Well, I guess they're going to have their first president with 34 felonies. That's going to be president. Okay, so but, let, let's let's mine this out a couple of different ways, right? You don't think that mm -hmm. it's a little bit suspicious that they, 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 they decided to bring this up now during election year when they could have brought this up seven years ago. You don't think that this is a little bit suspicious? Just just put our conspiracy that's on real, real quick. It's we'll politics. put our conspiracy it's, it's hats politics. on backwards. In general, yes, it's, you know, but... That's no, 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 no. Let's let's let's, is, that's how let's, let's let's have a real yeah. conversation here. Let's not let's not posture. Let's not okay. give the politically correct answer. Let's be honest. Do you think that it's suspicious that they decided to bring this up during the 2024 election cycle? Yes. Okay. All right. That's cool. And I'm with yes. that. I'm with that. Let me ask you another question. Do okay. you think that this is a targeted attack uh, by whomever? My administration, whatever, right? Do you think that this is a strategic attack by them in order to try to win the election? No. I'm not saying that he didn't commit a crime. I don't, I'm, that's not even a conversation that I'm having. You don't think that it's strategic by the Biden administration that they're actually trying to influence what's going on in the election by doing this at this time? I feel it's more than that um, as far as politics with Letitia James. She may want to work her way up to the next position. So that's why she will go after it. The same thing will happen in you know, Georgia. She wants to go over what she wants to try to prosecute Trump so she can go to the next level. So it's all levels in politics. You, you try to go after the but big You don't think that nothing comes out of this for the level. Biden administration as far as what their strategy is to hamper him and keep him locked down in New York? off of the campaign trail, raising money and all of this stuff, you don't think that none of that stuff is relevant? A little bit, but not not really. He's going to win regardless, I feel. Trump I is going to win. Gonna win, well, win regardless. It's, but we not. I, I, the I, debate I isn't so. whether or not he's going to win or not. Right? You know, the people going to do whatever they want to do is when it comes to voting. My problem with this whole thing is I then start to question the election process in general, because if we can't even get the very ones that's supposed to be in charge of the country to operate above board and to allow for the people to actually participate in the election process without any kind of interference whatsoever, regardless of whether you win or you lose, then you kind of lose integrity. You kind of lose the people in general. If you don't have any faith in the very system that we use in order to elect our individuals, I think that that's a huge problem. All I know is I, I, I have a business, right? Mm -hmm. And the littlest check I write out when someone helps me with my business, my accountant's calling me saying, what's this? Oh, well, if this person's going to be helping you, you have to pay him differently than if you should just write a check to one of my nephews to help me. I sell sneakers online. That's what I do. And I pay my nephews to come with me to go sell sneakers or to buy more sneakers at the store because I have a limit. But my accountant's like, all right, you have to pay him differently. You can't just write a check to, you know, Joe Smo. You have to put it in the comments. But if Trump said, listen, pay these people off, but then in the memo of his checks he was writing, 
saying, oh, this is payback for my attorney for attorney fees. But, yo, you just paid off the stripper. You paid off the Playboy model. You played off the other guy that you did whatever with and that you paid off all these people. Mm -hmm. But it's the memo section and the checks. It's like the business practices. I won't teach my son to do anything wrong. I don't want him running a stop sign. Bullshit. I don't want my son running a stop sign. Listen, man. If your son... And listen, nobody is validating that is right. That, that's the that's not the see the debate here that I'm having. It's not whether or not it's right or wrong. Mm -hmm. But I think that you're a little bit disingenuous, right. my friend. James. Go ahead. If yes. you had a chick that came from your past and say, hey man, James was busting it down for a real one. Man, it was gonna affect what you had going on with your jobs. He said, Hey James, just, just send me five bands and I'll leave you alone forever. You sending that check? I was sending a check. I know you were sending a check. But you I wouldn't tell say, my attorney. Uh, I, uh, I wouldn't uh, tell my accountant. James. Send James, a check and say it was James, um, my nephew for helping me James, sell items. James. Go ahead. You sending a check, James. Not my business account, though. Okay, so this was you, you picking business a, related picking a different, expenses. but you're still sending a check, though, right? I was sending, definitely send a check. That's all I want to know. Definitely. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it, James. I like that. I like you, James. Business Thanks. practices. <laughs> all right, AD. Yeah, right, I rock I, with you, my boy. I rock but with I you said, too, my dog. I had I to call it. I was going to call up last night, but I was like, nah. All right, let me. But then you said, oh, it's up there today. I was like, all right, I got to call. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> but that's just how I feel. I'm still voting for the boy. I hate what Biden's doing. The open borders is crazy. New York is crazy. I got to watch my back when I go to New York to, to handle business. Yeah, I Just because the people are out there, they starving. It's not their fault. They thought they was going to get everything free. Now, that you know, they kicking them out. They just walking around the streets. It's crazy. It's crazy out there. Mm -hmm. I feel so you. I, we got to get Biden back in, I mean, um, Trump back in office so we can start these deportations. And, and, Did you know and, that, uh, and, you know, that Barack that. Obama, they literally called him the, um, he was one of the biggest deporter of immigrants inside of the country? Well, I heard that once or twice, but Biden took over and reversed everything. <laughs> All right, I appreciate open you, James. Thank you for coming through, big dog. All right, AD. See you All soon, right. bro. Yep. Uh, let's see if we can get Rob up here. Rob. What up, though? You there, Rob? You want to be on camera or you want to be off camera? Uh, it don't matter. Whatever floats your boat, bro. I know. What's up to you? I'm cool either way. I'm kind of driving. I don't want to, you know, no worries. look distracted, but uh, I can no hear worries. you. Know. We, I got you. I can hear you well. What's going on, my friend? What's the word? Oh, man. Uh, I wanted to get on last night, too, like old dude said, but I was working, man. They got me, they got me working nice, but I ain't too far from you, man. I'm in Toledo, but anyway. Shout out um, to Toledo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Little Detroit. Um, I got to disagree with you wholeheartedly, bro. Okay. What do you disagree like, with? Like, with the whole Trump thing, bro. It's, okay. I, so you feel that this is a tactic to um, get him off the ballot or make him lose the election, right? Correct. So was Trump... Did he do the same thing when he told the Congress to investigate Hunter Biden? Was that the same thing? No. Was that the same thing? How 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 was it not? Because Hunter Biden wasn't running for president of the United States of America. But his, but his dad was. What so their whole point their whole to do with anything. So so yeah because so their whole point was they called it the Biden crime family. That's that was their whole crux mm -hmm. of the whole situation. Trump tried to get Bill Barr, uh, Bill Barr, his D, uh, DOJ, director of the DOJ, to investigate the Bidens. He was using Barr as his personal attorney to investigate the Bidens. I don't, I, his don't know, whole, I don't know too much about that, but I'm gonna take your word for it. But see, I, but see, and that's the problem. We don't. We got a short memory in this country, right? Wait, wait, we got wait, a real wait, wait, short wait. memory. What, what What does that have to do with? What does that have to do? What does Hunter Biden have to do with? Because again, Hunter is never running for the president of the United States of America. 
Hunter. No, but his dad. Wait, 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 his wait, dad. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, think about this for a minute. Go ahead, go ahead. They have literally hamstrung him and tied him to sitting in New York and taking him off the campaign trail intentionally and prevented him from being able to do what he's supposed to do in order to get the word out and continue to reach the people like he's legally supposed to be able to do in order to prevent him from really being able to campaign, campaign effectively. You don't think he's that still that's on, wild? No, because he's still on Truth Social. He still has campaign rallies. He had a campaign rally today talking about the case. So my thing yeah, about because, But he Hunter was Biden, still in New York in a city that's largely already blue that people know that it's a strong possibility that you can't win. What's the point? Listen, but he, the, the campaign trail is supposed to be meant for places that's on the fringes that it's a possibility that you can win in. Nobody want to campaign in New so, York. You don't see Biden so, going so, over to California. They already know California is going to be blue. So if I so if I commit a crime in Texas and I'm not supposed to get prosecuted in Texas, I can't get prosecuted in Tennessee. I got to get agree. prosecuted listen, in Texas. Nobody. Right? Listen, nobody is disagreeing with that point. Two things can be true at the same time. Are you telling me when they could have brought this forward when, with two, when they could have brought this forward seven years ago, hypothetically, for example, right? And they chose not. He was to. president, Anton. Seven he was years president, ago. Anton. Listen, you cannot. It doesn't. You can't. You can't prosecute a sitting president. You can't do that. You They've already said you that. It's absolutely, already, can bring forth. You, the, the, Mayor Garland already said that he was not going to prosecute a sitting president. He no, already wait, said wait, wait, that. Wait, wait. He said that he wasn't. It not, it's not that he can't. It's, it's, wait, wait, it's, it's a not difference. a rule. It's a difference. It's not a rule. You can. And that's time is not one. Rule. You you can number one. That's number one. But number two. It's called. Precedent. Why didn't they bring it's it forth precedent. in two thousand? Wait. Why didn't they bring it forth in two thousand and twenty? Two thousand and twenty one. Two thousand and twenty two. It takes it takes time to build a case. So look, my oh, thing is okay. it don't. So it don't it don't so it matter took, wait, what. Wait, so it took them seven years to build a case that just so happened to be being prosecuted right during election season. So it don't matter what time they brought the case up, Anton, people would have had a problem no matter when they brought the case up. That's what I'm saying. And that's what I'm trying to tell it still everybody. It doesn't absolve it. It still doesn't remove. Listen, you trying to ignore it. You, you trying to ignore the facts because I largely suspect that you're not a Trump supporter and you probably going to vote. No, no, but no, I'm not voting for either one of them because I think both of them are evil. I don't vote for me. I'm sitting on the couch. So I'm sitting on the couch. I'm not doing it. You're not I'm not voting that. I might vote. I know I'm gonna vote a uh, down ballot in Ohio because I'm a two way advocate. I'm a I'm a I'm a, a staunch two way advocate, right? Mm -hmm. I'm voting down ballot in Ohio because I I like my Republicans in Ohio. I'm not voting okay, for no you. Democrats. In Ohio. You see what I'm saying? But I can I'm gonna vote Kermit the Frog when it comes to the president because I cannot deal with either one of them. Mm. I can't. And, okay. And I've done, and I've done my, I've done my research on Trump. Mm -hmm. I've, I, I've watched Trump his whole four years. So, so let me ask you a question: What is it yeah, that he ahead, did bro. during his presidency that you disagree with? Man, COVID was probably one of the worst things that I've ever seen a president do. He literally had states fighting for respirators. The, the states that didn't vote for him, he said, I'm not giving you no respirators or I'll give you the least amount of respirators that I can I, give. Listen, listen, I think that that is absolutely a lie. I have never seen that, that, that before. Lie. I've never seen that, that, is, that before, ever. I don't know. That, just because and, and, and maybe, 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 just because, maybe, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me preface go ahead, go ahead. Maybe I'm completely yes, uneducated with regard to it. But I did not right. see that at all. As a matter of fact, I think that it was the complete opposite. What I seen during the election was uh, in 2020, I seen states that align based off of the governor's party, right? So whatever line you was, whether you was blue or you was red, whether you was Democrat or you was a Republican, the states that was more aligned with a Democratic, the Democratic um you know, that had more Democratic governors were absolutely one of the most influential things when it came to the election itself. As a matter of fact, one of the things that, that they did, in my opinion, was not just the mail-in ballot, 
But what they also did was they shut their states down based off of party lines. 100% based off of party lines. And so, you know, I, do you mean? I don't, I don't, I, I do you think mean? it was a completely, what do you mean? What do I mean? In Michigan, so for example, say- Michigan was a swing state, but it was ran by a Democratic governor, Gretchen uh, Whitmer. And what she did was she completely shut the state down. And I think that that partly influenced the election because all of it rolled back up to Trump, which we then realized during the election season that governors had way more power than the actual president themselves had. The governors had the, had the power to be able to determine whether or not they funded. No, 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 no. The, the governors had the power. Every state has an emergency fund. Every state yeah. has, has funds to be able to designate towards whoever it is or whatever it is that they feel means the most, especially during an emergency situation. The governors had to determine, had to determine in power to whether or not they wanted to actually fund certain things that happened inside of their state. And I think that if you go by state by state and you start to break it down based off of party lines, they did things based off of what was going to sabotage, in my opinion, what was going to sabotage the election. And... They no, absolutely align. No, themse- no, they no, align no, themselves no, across party lines. No, yes, they did, bro. It happened in Michigan. It not, happened in Georgia. Not, I live in Ohio. Ohio shut down. Ohio shut down. I went out when Every, I was working. No, 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 I worked on. for the railroad. I'm not talking about. I was in, I'm not talking about the initial I'm shutdown. I'm not talking about in the initial shutdown when COVID first happened. When it was in the beginning of 2020, every state sh- shut down. But every state didn't stay shut down. That was the difference. Florida opened up, Texas opened up. It was a lot of states that opened up, but a lot of these states, they stayed closed down and it, and it absolutely influenced the ballots. It influenced mail-in ballots. It influenced the election. It influenced the way that people seen things. And, they all, and, and people no. usually go up to the president and it was really more of a no. local situation. Absolutely, 100%. No. No. When, so, so, when, so when people are actually looking for respirators because... Trump is a transactional president. He was a transactional president and a narcissist. So if you kiss his ass or if you say good things about him or if you if your state voted for him, then you were in line to get respirators because that's what my initial point was. I wasn't talking about the election and all that. I'm talking about actual giving out respirators because my main point was the COVID relief. When he came in the office, he dismantled. Don't give out respirators. Let me, yes, they, yes, they did. They had a okay, stockpile of respirators that, right, were, give, that they were giving out to states. They had a they had a stockpile of respirators that they were giving out to states. And Trump was withholding respirators from states that did not vote for him. That's all I'm saying. He that's that's exactly the type of person he is. And on the flip side. When he came in office, he dismantled he dismantled the pandemic relief office that Barack Obama has started. So when COVID hit, they didn't know what to do. They didn't know what to do. So you got people I, actually. This the same president that said, if you drink disinfected or bleach, it may get rid of COVID in your body. And then he looked at Dr. Burke and she said, no, no, nigga, no. <laughs> what is you talking about? This is the same president. <laughs> it's the same president. Anybody can pull anybody can pull up that news conference. Trump dropped the ball on COVID. Because after after Barack Obama left office, right? The economy, the economy kept ticking up. So all Trump had to do was not fuck it up. And he was not fucking it up. He did add thirteen trillion dollars to the deficit, though. So you a good uh, fiscal responsible dude because you got the um the millionaires uh, club and everything. You get everybody back on their feet, and I commend you for that. But Trump added thirteen trillion dollars to the deficit. I agree. Trillion dollars to the deficit. Mm-hmm. How can we be fiscally responsible as conservatives? Or people who have a conservative mindset, when you literally give tax breaks to a whole bunch of people, and the tax breaks and don't have nothing. To, don't have people to suffer for no, 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 no. The tax breaks don't have anything to do with no, you, whether or not you you being fiscally yeah, responsible. And you know why? Go ahead. Do you know why they do? It's Go because I'm listening to because you. every republic. I'll let you finish. Every, every republic. 
Yeah, no, no. Every Republican you, wait, wait, wait. that break, comes in the office and does a tax cut. I think for, you, I think you're going through a bad area. My, my bad, start. man. I'm I'm. Just, I'm no, 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 no. I'm I'm with you. I'm yeah, with you. I like this conversation. I am. I'm just letting you know that you're starting to get really pixelated in the back because you might be going through a bad area. But go ahead. I'm gonna let you finish. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm going through a. So a lot of people, so a lot of conservatives, when they get in the office, they give tax breaks to the rich, right? So when they do that, what ends up happening because they always they always want to work on some type of trickle down economics, but what ends up happening is trickle down economics has never worked, has never worked e ever since um what's his name Reagan it has never worked how does because rich because the rich hoard the money because they're actually going off of the uh, malevolence of a uh the person in charge of all this money, they thinking that it's going to trickle. It's going to come down to the people at the bottom. It never does that. It they hoard does. that money. They don't. And they hoard, they hoard that Most money. So why listen, under the overwhelming majority of people that become millionaires, majority of the wealth that's generated in this country is is generated by people. That's not from this country, meaning that they then become immigrants, legal migrants into the country and is new millionaires. That's not true. You have a small minority of people when you start to get into equity partnerships and, um, you know, all of these different types of, of, of investment, investment vehicles and things like that. There's a small minority of people that you can say hoard the majority of the wealth. Now, what you're speaking of is, as far as trickle down economics, there is no other. And capitalism isn't perfect, especially inside of the United States of America. But there is facts, no facts. other, zero other country that is doing it better than the United States of America is doing it. That is a fact. But no, when it, nobody it, has the, the system down, of capitalism that we have. But let, let me let me just explain it to you. Trickle down Back, economics ahead, ahead. has nothing to do with giving more tax breaks to the rich. One of the reasons why the tax breaks, it seemed like it was going to the rich is because it was supposed to incentivize companies that did foreign business to bring their monies back over here inside of the United States of America without worrying about being overtaxed as a result of it. So for example, if Apple is holding $400 billion in a completely different country, but then they don't want to bring that over here to the United States of America. And so as a result, what they do is they take on debt because it's cheaper for them to take on debt than to go over there and give a whole bunch of money in taxes over to the federal government. What Trump did was he said, listen, we want you to bring all of y'all capital back here in the United States of America. And we want you to incentivize to do so because it's better for it to be here than for it to be in a foreign country. And so part of the tax breaks, not all of it, was to incentivize major corporations and people from having offshore accounts and bringing all of that money back inside of the United States of America. Now, what that also did was it incentivized for people to create more jobs. And that's why you had record low unemployment and record high salaries during the time that, tr that, that uh, Trump was in office. What Barack Obama did was he basically shepherded us into a phase to where he incentivized for companies to continue to create jobs by basically artificially artificially inflating the economy by continuing to give money out such as what he did to the major banks, what he did to the automakers by not allowing for, allowing for them to fail, all of that, right? Nobody went to jail during the housing crisis or for the housing crisis or anything like that. What Trump did was he incentivized companies to create to create jobs on their own. And so what happened was you had a record growth and prosperity. You had record giving over into HBCUs. You had, you had more people incentivized to take advantage of the tax code when it came to keeping more wealth within their families. And because a lot of people didn't do so because they didn't understand how money worked, they then blamed it on rich people and they said, well, trickle, not, trickle down economics didn't work. That's bullshit. It absolutely does work. And that's why you have so many people running it up during the Trump administration. That HBCU line is is a bunch of crap, man. How is and it I and I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna say this because he zeroed out. All he did was zero out the Pell grants compared to uh, giving the HBCU money. He didn't give them the most money out of every president. He has never done that. He has I never did. done that. That is a daddy because he zeroed out. You breaking up, big dog. I'm sorry. You breaking up. You frozen, bro. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna see if I can get you back because that was a really good conversation. I like it when I can engage with people. You frozen, James. I mean, Rob. Let me show you what you look like on screen. 
<laughs> Rob, you frozen out here in these streets, big dog. I'm sorry. I got to let you go. You must have went through a bad area, bro. Uh, Deacon Weezo. Let's see if we can get the Deacon up here. What's up, Deacon? Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey. What's going on, my friend? What's the word? You're breaking up really bad. Oh, can you hear the deacon? Yeah, I can hear the deacon. What's up, deacon? Uh, am, I, am I good and clear? No, nah, you're breaking up Hello. a lot. Hello. Uh -oh. You're breaking up, bro. Hey, brother. Oh, you can hear me now? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hold on, brother. My bad. The deacon got me. You know, I ain't pay that bill, that phone bill. I'm on the Joe Biden phone. Oh, brother, I'm turning off the other phone. Oh, my bad. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Shout out to all your listeners. Oh, yes. Okay, brother. Here come the big deacon. I'm ready now. Okay. Uh, do I sound a lot better now, brother? Am I good to go? I, I, yes, sir. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Is that good? That's better, brother? Yes, sir. What's going I, on? I just my wanted friend? to make sure you can hear me. Oh, 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 man, brother, the deacon feeling good, man. But, brother, I'm going to deny the deacon a love set because, man, we need Trump. They done messed around, brother. Brother, the deacon so broke right now. Man, I, I broke the change and scratching and surviving in this ugly, uh, beat, beat up ass country. The sad thing about it, too, brother, what is the Americans going to choose? They ain't got no good choices. So, man, I hate what they doing to our brother Trump because, man, they know. Man, and, and, and I got a question. How can a Democrat say that they are Democrat and they're Christian when all the all them evil ass rules that they got, they got abortions. Boy, they even got the transformer, man. All kind of stuff going on. So here's the question. You get Deacon, I'm losing you, big dog. Uh, Deacon and dropped off. I'm sorry. Deacon's uh, connection. Y'all got to get y'all Obama phones together. All right, all right, all right. Deacon, I'm sorry. Everybody that called in, I appreciate y'all. It's been very, very entertaining for y'all to call in. 